Hello, this is Danny Smith. I've been asked to make a video explaining the A, B, C, and D blocks, the inserts that go in them, or peels as I like to call them, and what each one does. I'm not going to get into what each one change it makes to the car, simply because people have varying opinions on what does what, and I'm not going to get in an argument with people about what it does. So I'm simply here to show you the parts and how to make the adjustments. You can make your adjustments and see what it does for your car and go from there. Okay, so we start off with the chassis has 10 degrees of front kick. So that's what you're basing, everything's based off of. So you have the, the A block, which has the pill inserts to, make, to adjust the amount of kick in the front end. Kick is how much the pin is in relation to the chassis. So how much the the, uh, the angle of the arms on the inner hinge pin. Okay, the B block doesn't have pill inserts. It, adjust this phone here. The B block has the rear of the hinge pin in a set position. There are four B blocks. One, two, three, and five dot. Each dot represents one more degree or 0.7 millimeters same with the peels each dot uh, is 0.7 millimeters or one degree so the two dot raises that position 0.7 millimeters the three dot which comes in let me back up this this is the one dot comes in the e-buggy uh, it's at its lowest position the two dot comes in at 819 which is plus 0.7 millimeter the three dot came in the 817 nitro buggy. That one is 1 1.4 plus 1.4 millimeter or another degree. The next, they skip a four dot for some reason and there's a five dot which came with the 817 truck. Um, it raises it 2.8 millimeters. So they do two things that the, the uh, hinge pin has a position this way would change the roll center so if you raise the back obviously and the front the same you're just raising the roll center then you change the pills to to create to move the hinge pin up creates more kick down creates less kick so i'm going to put these in here i've got i've got um, let me show you the pills on the this is on the stock setup sheet. These are the peels. I don't know if you can see they're good or not. All right, three up would be its lowest position, two up, one up, and then you flip it over, go one down, two down, and three down. Each one raises it one degree or 0.7 millimeters. So I've got, for this example, I've got the three dots one up one down I run on my car I run the one dot B block and three up in the front in its lowest position so it's creating lowest roll center and least amount of kick that I can get um, this one is three down so it's you can see in relation to the bottom of the gearbox which is what level with the chat or sits on the chassis that's the most amount of kick you can get. Obviously, if you change the B block to a higher position, it's gonna take kick away, and leave this one here, obviously. It's gonna take kick away and raise the roll center. All right, on this side, I've got three up and one peel. So that's its lowest position, least amount of kick. You can see, I think uh, one up was the closest to level with the chassis and keeping your 10 degrees. So there you go. Okay, on the rear, it's a little more complicated. There's peel inserts in the C block and in the D block. Uh, there are different D blocks to set your rear toe. On the buggy, there's a 2.75. 3.0 and 
3.25 and a 3.5. On the Truggy, there's a 2.75 and a 3.0. That is what you use to set the toe. The toe sets the angle of the hinge pin. This is a 3.0. You can see that it's got three, three degrees of toe in on the back and moves it in and out to create more or less toe. Okay, this one currently has the same peels. It has one up in the front and one up in the back. If you use the same peel in the same position, you end up with two degrees. Um, let me put those inserts in there. Two degrees of anti-squat. So these are one up pills. You can see it's got two degrees of kick up. If I were to, in order to take the kick up out, I would have to put three down. Three down would raise the rear two degrees and level it out. That would put the roll center somewhere in the middle. Now there's a lot of different combinations uh, and there's charts online and everything to tell you what degree you're putting it at. Uh, for the most part, I run two degrees on everything. On the a truck, I run a little more, uh, four or five degrees. Uh, I've tried it every which way and that's the way I like it. So um, to lower the roll center, you're gonna put a higher number pill up. That's gonna lower it down. So three up and three up uh would be two degrees because it's both the same number like i said before but that lowers the roll center gets it down uh three down and three down would still be two degrees of anti-squat but that would raise up the roll center to its highest position so this is one up and one up so it's a, it's it's kind of in the middle of where the roll center is um if you want to increase the amount of anti-squat you're going to put uh, either a lower number pill one's the lowest with it up so the next thing you would do is turn it upside down and go three down two down and one down to get your adjustment so pretty much you change those pills to get the amount of kick you want and the roll center you want so anyway i hope this helps uh, try them out see what works best for you uh, i'll probably make another video later explaining the the peel inserts in the rear hubs uh, anyway have a good day